Hi, I'm Rick Mercer from the Mercer Report, and you're watching TV Western. Whoa, what are you doing here? I'm here to host my show, TV Western. What are you doing here? Uh, I was trying to host TV Western, too. Good luck with that. I guess we can share. Thank you. <laughs> TV Western starts now. Sun's down, the crowd is coming over me. Front row, breaking down security. The encore is a cover of the Beach Boys. A phone rings, a song stops. It brings me down to earth. I'm just a patio rock star. I'm my string guitar I'm just a patio rock star waving at the passing cars I'm just a patio rock star I open for your favorite CD What's up, Western? It's your man, Serene. And I'm Alessandra. Yeah, she's new, so give her a chance. And uh, this week on TV Western, we have a lot of great stuff to cover, so tell them what we got. We're first going to be talking about former Prime Minister Paul Martin, his visit to campus. Yep. Then we have coverage of the White Ribbon Campaign, which has been going on this week, as well as the Montreal Massacre Memorial Ceremony held in the UCC. So stay tuned. And if you guys are uh, watching this, you're done classes by now, so we have a little uh, advice for you. Sit down and enjoy the show. Yeah, don't stress too much. Check it out. Financial crises are not the exception. They are the rule. In the nine years that I was finance minister, uh, we had five financial crises. We had the Mexican peso crisis, which almost derailed my most important budget, followed up by the Asian crisis, followed up by, after that by September the 11th, which obviously was a huge human tragedy, but also brought about paralysis of the economic system. And then followed a succession, which I would, I would simply merge into two, the Russian default on its debt, the Argentinian default on its debt, and the Brazilian devaluation. Now, the point that I would make is that governments should expect the unexpected. Governments should understand that in the globally interdependent world in which we live, financial crises are the norm. The cause of most financial crises is the flip side of the strength of the market system. The market system essentially gives full vent to innovation. It gives full vent to entrepreneurial imagination, which no bureaucratic system could ever do. On the other hand, that freedom, that freedom to innovate, that freedom to, to basically decide your own future, regardless of what a bureaucracy might say, providing you can raise the money in the capital market in, in which to do it, is also a, the basic reason why there is weakness and why we have these financial crises. Because the problem is that innovation has inevitably taken a bridge too far, or a door is opened and the people go through it and in fact abuse the opening that is there. 